the... It's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. An earthquake! But it, it's shaking too fast for that. Uh, anyway. Where am I? Wait, it, it stopped? What's that sound? That's... Five. What's this five mean? Ah, it won't open. What's this? Uh, is this keeping the door shut? Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! <sighs> huh? What the hell is this? A watch? It, it doesn't look like one. Five. That's... that's the same as the door. What? <sighs> How do I take this off? Maybe pushing something on this will work? Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. No good. This stupid thing won't come off. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? Ah, ah, my head. Huh. This is... hold on, uh, am I on a ship? I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? What the... oh, you gotta be kidding me! What... what the hell is going on here?! What the hell?! God damn it! Hey! Anyone! Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something! It's... it's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. I need to find a way out, and fast.
Probably hold on to this. Huh. Oh, my. what's up with my. I look like a zombie. Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and. and. I'm back! Not like anyone will respond. Oh, man, work was rough today. Huh? A breeze? Huh, that, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Hmm, everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. What? Who are... Ah! <gasps> I... I can't... Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. You are going to participate in a game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That's right. That guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him... Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. Just who was that? They said, you have been chosen. What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. The nonary game? Huh. What the hell is a nonary game? God, God damn it!
my head. Wait, is it, is it over? Whew, that felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. Well, better than drowning, I guess. Am I in a hallway? Oh. A door. Another door. Damn, this water. Ugh. Let me go. Huh, yes, it opened. What? What the hell? This is the inside of a ship? Well... Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Wait, what the hell? A wave? Oh shit! Shit! Okay, I, I gotta get out of here! Sea deck! <laughs> B-deck! Hurry! Hurry! Uh, A-deck's next! What? People! A lot of people. Um... Uh... I guess it's another one of us now. Uh, a, a, a dancer? No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, uh, well, okay then. Silver hair? Huh? <laughs> One of us, huh? W what? Nothing. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! That's nine of us, then. All of the cards are in hand. Wait! They're gone. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Huh? Uh, huh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! What was that all about? Hey! What the hell are you just standing there for? Didn't you hear him? Eh? Uh. The doors on A-deck are no good! We gotta check the doors on B-deck! Got it? Now go! Oh. Hey man, that was dangerous! Huh? Four? And this one says... Five. They're the same. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. You too. My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspected the rest of you. M me too! Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? <sighs> Open! Damn it! not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Out of my way. A body slam from a guy that big didn't even budge it. There must be some other way. Huh. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. So that means this door is probably locked too. But still... Damn it! Are there any other doors? Uh. Huh?
Watch out! Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? Uh, Akane? <laughs> what? What's that voice? This is... That guy in the gas mask! Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. What do you mean to do to us? Nonary game. What the hell's that? What is he talking about? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I, I got one too. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. We will call them the Numbered Doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets, and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. So this thing on my arm is... Bracelet. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. I hear a bell. I think it's coming from over by the stairs. It's the clock telling us the time. It 
rang nine times, so nine o'clock then? I think it's 9 p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. You bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Ugh, that guy won't stop shouting. And the others... <sighs> hmm. <sighs> Whew. Uh, I have way too many questions. Who is Hero? What's the nonary game? What's it for? Is he some nut job just doing this to mess with us, or does he have some other purpose? And why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others, why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Coincidence? No, there's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! But don't tell me you're actually going to do what this, this zero said. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We... what? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched A-Deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. Hell? It's completely submerged. Damn. If the water level keeps rising like this, we're all gonna drown. No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See? The water's not flowing. That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. <sighs> That's depressing. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. Looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. Ah, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. They're pretty suspicious. No numbers on either door. And I don't see an authentication device, either. Nope. It's locked. This one, too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey, guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. <sighs> this one doesn't open, either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man! Give me a hand! Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. <laughs> it won't budge. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, sorry. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Idiots. Try using your brain first. Huh? Take a closer look. A keyhole? Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. <clears throat>
A key, huh? You got a problem? No, I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. <sighs> What's this? There's a mark on it. D does it mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? More doors. I think they're elevators. There's an inverted triangle button by them. May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. What is this? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. This is the symbol of Saturn. It's an astrological symbol. Then the mark on the other door... I think that was the sun symbol. We saw the same symbols on A deck. We did? I don't remember that. A deck, huh? huh. I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. You may as well check again since we're talking about it. There! The two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. She's right. It, it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. This is an Earth symbol. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. I see. Hmm. The ceiling. Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. I wish we could get out through there. Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. The windows too. Huh. They're all covered. In other words... We're trapped. All the exits go nowhere. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No. I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. Oh, you mean the numbered doors. Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. May as well give it a shot. Can't stay here forever. Yes, I'm in favor as well. No, I'm totally against this. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what'll happen. We should stay here. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Uh... Hey, shut up! Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are. Who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junfei. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop! Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Zero's probably watching us right now. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would! We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us he had them to get us to do stuff, you know? But we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. Alright, then why don't we have code names? Code names? Yeah, we'll each pick something. Like, I'll be seven. Seven? Why are you seven? Because this bracelet number says seven. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm gonna be Santa. 
Any of you chumps know Japanese? No? Well, San means three. So, I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? Then your bracelet number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is... Eight. I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. My bracelet number is two. Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice, snake eyes clearly, which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. You can't see? I knew it. Me next! I want to be Clover. You know, like a four-leaf clover. Good luck, right? All right, my number's five. So my code name is gonna be why have one? It's not like there's any point to it now. I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. Oh, yeah. Uh, then you should all call me by my name, too. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Uh, What's your bracelet number? It's six. All right, then. Uh, why don't we call you June? June? Yeah, you know, it's the it's the sixth month of the year. So you're June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Okay then. So this is how everyone breaks down. One is Ace. Two is Snake. Three is Santa. Four is Clover. Five is me. Six is June. Seven is seven. And eight is Lotus. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. The only one left is... That glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. You haven't said a thing so far, have you? Uh, <laughs> what number are you? Mm. Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here. And you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're nine? Yeah. What's your code name? Uh, code name? What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should too. I don't need one. Why not? Because I am not gonna stay here with you. You've got some sort of plan? I do. Yeah? What's that? You sure you want to know? Yeah? All right. Let me show you. I'm going to do this! <laughs> hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Stay back. Ah! If you get any closer, I'll cut her open. Uh... Yeah, that's right. Clover, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you. This is my plan. What are you gonna do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. <laughs> Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Here, verify. Uh? The left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel, the round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. I'll kill you if I have to. All I need is your bracelet. <laughs> Just do it. Do it now. Uh, okay, I'll do it. Like this. 
so that's how it works. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. Then... Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Door 5. But why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? It's like he knows exactly what to do. Good. Good. You're done. Next. You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes. I am. So? Then you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <laughs> what are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Now, verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? Now the device has both Clover and Ace's numbers, four and one. Four plus one is five. It's the same as the number written on the door, but it won't open yet. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Who? Who does he need? Get back! No! Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! Okay. Ha! <laughs> Wait. Uh, don't tell me. Clover's four, and Ace is one. Added to the ninth man's nine. 4 plus 1 plus 9 is 14, and the digital root of 14, 1 plus 4, is 5. In other words... <laughs> Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. I don't need you anymore! <laughs> Wait! Here! She's all yours! <laughs> okay... Have a good one. I'm going off ahead now. Well then... Goodbye! Clover! Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Damn it! That bastard! <laughs> Open, damn it! <laughs> Shit! It won't budge. Do you hear something? Like, what? Like, some sort of beeping. <sighs> You're right. I can hear it, too. What is it? Shit! Why isn't it stopping? God damn it! You... you lied! Lied? <laughs> this wasn't supposed to happen! This is wrong! This is wrong! What is happening in there? Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! Ah, God damn it! Why? Why won't it work? Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? Uh, oh my God, oh my God! There's no time left! Listen, I was lied to! He lied to me! He put me in here! It was him! He killed me! It was him! <laughs> A 
Beep? Did that thing just make that sound? Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number. But it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. Thank <laughs> you.